Tis the season, tick season that is, and as we approach warmer months, health experts say it's crucial to be on guard. Ticks are everywhere, unfortunately, and there are little hitchhikers that could grab onto your clothes or onto your pet. Ticks are commonly found in tall grass, wooded areas, and can be carried by animals. Sandra Lee is CEO of New Jersey Labs. She says if you get bitten by one, it could lead to illnesses like Lyme disease, which can be detrimental to your health. You could eventually even become paralyzed, similar to Parkinson's disease. She says, know the signs. Symptoms can easily be confused with COVID and can result in other lifelong issues, including chronic chronic fatigue, joint pain, arthritis, and a compromised immune system. You'll see a little bug on your skin and the head is buried underneath. It bites you and it can numb that bite. You can see this ring, bullseye ring, or a rash on your body at the bite site. According to the CDC, fewer cases of tick bites were reported by state health departments during the pandemic. However, in 2019, 50,865 cases of tick-borne diseases were reported to the agency in the U.S. That's why health experts say prevention is key. First and foremost, you should always check your entire body. Pat yourself down, make sure that there's nothing that you feel that's abnormal. There's natural sprays that could possibly potentially prevent ticks from being attracted to you. Lee also says check your clothing to make sure there aren't any of them crawling around. Now, if you're traveling or spending time outdoors, know the bug that bit you. Sandra recommends having a test kit like this on hand. It's safe, it's easy, it's convenient, saves you time, and gives you peace of mind. This allows you to remove the tick safely. It has ridges at the tip, so you can grab the tick safely and without uh, breaking the tick. Keeping the tick intact will allow for easier testing and decrease your risk of disease. Once the test is completed, it's sent off to the lab where further testing is done. Finally, be sure to follow up with your doctor to reduce your risk. In Central Park, I'm Stacy N. Gooden, PIX11 News.